If you think I'm not going to talk about Richard Rogers, you're crazy. I've wanted to be on Broadway for seven and a half years. And he put me there. I would like to go on and do other things, but I will never forget. Because this man knocked on my door. He called me. And I love him. And thank you very much. Diane Carroll, how she broke barriers on stage and screen. When winning Tonys, fighting racial barriers, and working with breast cancer, Diane Carroll broke barriers. Carol Diane Johnson, more well known as Diane Carroll, the famed and beloved actress seen on many screens, as well as the stage of Broadway, was born July 17, 1935, and passed on October 4, 2019. Her most renowned movies and TV shows included Julia, in which she starred as Julia, Dynasty, where she played Demique Deverox. She also played in Grey's Anatomy as Jade Burke, seasons 3 through 4. Musical repertoire includes Barbara Woodruff in Richard Rogers' No Strings and Pearl Bailey in The House of Flowers. Here's how Diane broke barriers in her productions, fighting racial barriers, and fighting breast cancer. Diane Carroll, born in the Bronx, grew up a child in Harlem, New York with her father, John Johnson, her mother, Mabel Falk, and her sister, Lydia. As a child, she was always fond of music. Her mother made her learn piano at a young age, and she attended the Music and Art High School in New York, where she sang and played the piano. She became a model in her years of high school, starting at age 15. Though she modeled for Ebony, her true passion was to perform, so she continued to look for theater and singing outlets and opportunities. One of the biggest opportunities she found was when she and her friend Alyssa auditioned for Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts together. Alyssa was a talented pianist who played while Diane sung. Sadly, the producer informed the two that they only wanted Diane, so Diane continued without her. Diane went on to win first place and was invited to have an interview with Arthur himself. She brought her mother, with whom she had a very close relationship with. But something confused Diane. Godfrey was making racist jokes about slaves, and her mother was laughing. She said it was the first time she was so disgusted by racism that she spoke up. She ended up calling out Godfrey and her own mother for laughing. That's when she said that she felt she broke racial barriers. She later attended New York University, but dropped out when she decided psychology was not something she wanted to pursue, and auditioned for shows in Broadway, as well as movies and TV shows. Diane played Norma Desmond in Andrew Lloyd Webber's Sunset Boulevard. She was the oldest at 60 and the darkest woman to play her yet. During her Sunset Boulevard audition, Andrew Lloyd Webber himself came in and asked her to sing a song that was out of her range and that she did not feel comfortable singing. She said that it made no sense for her to sing a song that she obviously could not and Webber was not happy. He said that he did not want her, but since the producer had more of a say in casting, he ended up casting her on later. Carol starred in No Strings in 1962 by Richard Rogers. This was the first show Rogers wrote both the music and lyrics for, and it was also the first show it was he did after the passing of his partner Oscar Hammerstein II. He wrote the show for Diane, and it was about a fashion model named Barbara Woodruff, played by Diane, living in Paris when she meets and falls in love with a white man named David Jordan, played by Richard Kiley. Not only does this plotline star a black woman, which is rare for Broadway at the time, but it also showcases the first ever biracial couple in a musical. But that was only two barriers that this show and Diane broke. Carol went on to win Best Leading Actress, 
but she was the first ever black woman to win an award for leading actress. She was the second black person to win a Tony at all. Although she broke all of those barriers, she was still subject to a lot of racism, even among her employers. Richard Rogers had rented out a venue for the cast party, but the woman who ran it did not want Diane to come because she did not want her children to see a black woman as successful as Diane was. Richard Rogers did nothing about it and told Diane that she was not allowed to come. When Diane informed the cast, they threw a separate cast party at a diner. Though her time in No Strings was fun and exciting for her, she did face a lot of racism and backlash. People calling her the N-word during her solos and not being invited to certain events. But nonetheless, she carried on and did not let racist people get in her way. In the 1968 to 1971 American sitcom, Diane Carroll played Julia, a African American woman as well as a hardworking nurse and single mother. Julia is the first ever weekly series to star an African American woman without the stereotypical role of a black woman in the 1960s. Though Carroll agrees the show was slightly whitewashed or didn't depict Julia's life as it would have been, Carroll still was proud of the impact it had on so many young African American lives. Though it speaks for itself, many barriers were broken during the process of Julia. First, Diane Carroll got to play the first African-American woman to star in a TV show without being in a stereotypical role. Second, Ju Diane says that Julia had a huge impact on her and that Julia had been one of her own role models. The conductor came to those of us in this particular car to explain to us that it was time to move. We had to move to another car because this car is no longer a, a, an integrated car. So all of the Negroes, we will call Negroes, all of the Negroes have to move to two cars down. I remember thinking, but this is Washington, D.C. This is the, the optimum of the United States of America. Um, I thought for a moment that he'd made a mistake. Then my mother said, no, no, we have to, we have to move. And my mother, it didn't face her, we're moving. She said, we're, we're moving. And I watched her reaction and my reaction. And I wanted to know why she wasn't, um, more upset. Why wasn't she trying to do something about this? But she did apologize to me, which I found very interesting. In 1997, Diane was diagnosed with breast cancer. Her treatment was nine weeks long and she was anxious to get it over with so she could continue working. Halfway through her treatment though, she developed a chicken pox. She had to postpone her radiation for weeks until she got better. Thankfully, she was blessed to have caught the cancer early on and did not experience much suffering throughout her treatments, so she did not let the cancer stop her. During her treatment, she was also in the Delaney Sisters and many other short skits. She beat it nearing the end of 1998 and continued working to share her story. Not only did she break racial barriers, she showed that no matter how many barriers are thrown at you, you can break them all if you want to. major barriers that Diane broke. Number one, she was the first African-American woman to win Best Leading Actress in a Musical at the Tony Awards. She led in a musical, and it was the first ever show to showcase a biracial couple. Starting Julia, which was the first ever weekly sitcom to star a black woman in a non stereotypical role. Finally, when diagnosed with breast cancer, she continued to work hard through and after her treatments. Diane passed away in October of 2019. We are also thankful for everything she's done to change so many lives. We hope that she rests in peace. <laughs>